Here we go live. And this video is brought to you by the fact that I found this beer. Didn't ever think uh, it would be available in my area. So to bring everybody together with my beer, we are doing ice beers, but from this company, Anheuser-Busch, the ice beers of Anheuser-Busch. And I am Thomas Metal 75, and this is your Massachusetts Beer Reviews being joined by John and L.A. from the state of Georgia. Hola. Glad to be and, here. Nice to have you. And being joined by the one and only Jay Terriot, Louisiana Beer Reviews of Louisiana Beer Reviews. Hello. And yes, we are reviewing the beers, the ice brewed lager beers of Anheuser Bush. And the beer that I bring that I was very happy to find finally in coming into my local area is Bush Ice. It was a dollar fifty for this can, so I bought two. Two for three. Why not? Yeah. What do you Good. have, uh, John and Nilly? I also have Bush Ice. Boom. Excellent. What does Jay have this evening? I have Bud Ice. Excellent. All right. And don't forget, there's also a natural ice. There's a natural ice, there's the bud ice, there's bush ice. Are we forgetting anything else? Or is that probably about the ice beers of Anna's or Bush? That's it. There's an 18 ounce brown bottle. Bottle that I bought. That's the only it's the only brown bottle that Bud Ice comes in. The Bush Ice on the Bush. I'm on their website here. On the B, Bush, B U S C H for Anna's or Bush. On their website, they say that the Bush Ice was intro, introduced in 1995. It undergoes an exclusive ice brewing process, which takes a beer, which takes the beer to a temperature below freezing. The ice crystals are then removed, giving the beer its sweet, smooth finish and higher alcohol content. So that is bush ice right there the bud ice if i go to tap into your beer.com for all the anheuser bush in that beer information they say that bud ice uses anheuser bush's exclusive ice brewing process and they basically say the same thing uh bud ice is a um besides that they say that process gives the bud ice its rich smooth taste and bud ice is america's first draft beer to be ice brewed so that is that is kind of interesting on that note of bush ice. I'm going to pour mine. And while I do that, if John and Ellie wants to talk a little bit about bush ice, feel free. All right. Well, I gave mine a pour. Uh, I didn't pour with much of a head, but that's probably because of the schooner glass that I'm using here. It's a nice golden appearance with a lot of streaming bubbles going up the glass. I actually couldn't get bush ice until I moved, until about a year before I moved from Columbus, Georgia to Noonan, Georgia. So it wasn't available in either Columbus, uh, well, I don't know about here, but it wasn't available the first four years I lived out there. Um, so I've only been able to get this beer for about a year and a half now. Um, and when I first tried it, I, I didn't like it so much, but I realized that I was drinking a very expired can. <laughs> so. I um I've had that problem before. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it uh since I've been getting it here because uh for the most part I've been able to find relatively fresh cans. So um anyway, I want uh, I I want to hear your uh description before I get into it because I've had it many, many times. So this is the second uh, time ever for me. I, I, I bought it on Wednesday before band practice. I tried one during that which probably wasn't the greatest idea. But I'm definitely going to go ahead and start drinking it because it's been a long week. So cheers. Excellent. Cheers on that note. Um, I mean, it's it's a hair shade darker than most. No, it's it's pretty dark. It's pretty uh, golden colored in my Pilsner Urkel, new Pilsner Urkel glass I acquired. Look at that little crown. That looks sweet. Um, Yeah, there must be a little bit of etching. It's got some effervescence to it. Not a whole bunch, but it looks attractive in the glass. Not a whole bunch of head. Anymore, just a little fine pinky nails work. It doesn't really smell 
sickeningly sweet like a malt liquor would, but it has more of that kind of sweetness to me coming up front in it. I'm getting some notes of, I'm getting the paperiness to it. I'm getting the wet cardboard kind of notes to it. I am getting a nice clean water crispness to it. Um, I guess a little bit of barley malt, not a huge amount of corn, but there is some presence of that in there. It's just pretty, it, it, it's mildly sweet, sweeter than most lagers would be that we traditionally drink in the United States, but not as heavy of a nose as a six plus percent malt liquor. So pretty pleasant, but smells a little bit more amped up than again, normal lagers. So Bush Ice, second time ever in my life. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Yes, a good Friday beer after work, right there. Holy crap! Now, I'm uh, that familiar. I'm getting a familiar taste to a lot of these Anheuser Busch beers. They all have the same kind of grainy, yeasty component to them. They all kind of share, I think, the same base ingredients for for um, uh, grains and yeast. Yeah, the but the bud ice used to be included in the Budweiser family, but it's been expelled. No longer utilizing rice, is that correct? I don't know if the ingredients ever changed, really. I just, for whatever reason, they don't include it as part of the Budweiser family. It's not. I don't think it ever did, uh, yes, Jay. I'm sure Jay knows, but I don't think it ever did um, use uh, rice as the adjunct. I think Bud Ice was always corn or corn syrup or whatever. I think it's one of those corn and or rice. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, could be and both. Bush distributor, John Walker from the state of Virginia. <laughs> Hello, sir. John's like, shut up. And I, no, I, I work for specialty beverage now, Ooh. and they're based out of Massachusetts. <gasps> oh. Have you ever heard of Sheehan Companies? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's the parent company of who I work for. Excellent. Cool. We, we have two, we have four AB products. Blue Point, Hill Garden, Lefe, yeah. and Breckenridge. That sounds delicious. It's weird. Like I'll get, I pick up AB kegs all the time. <laughs> Not nothing's changed. But just a, uh, in my review, real fast. Same thing in the nose. It's got a little bit more of a sweet content than most um, American style lagers because it's an ice brewed beer. Not as sweet as a malt liquor. Does have the paperiness, does have the cardboardiness, does have some of the corn to it, but the, it, I think it's a very light tasting adjunct in the beer. For me, what I like about this versus what I remember about natural ice and bud ice is this is actually sort of on the dry side for what it is. So in that regard, I'm finding it very smooth and crisp and on the light side of, on the high side of light and just really refreshing this is going down pretty good so far so so far so good on bush ice very nice well since i'm drinking bush ice i'll go ahead and just give you a quick breakdown i agree with everything you just said the only thing i would add is that you know for bush to be such a light-bodied beer um, i mean bush is almost a light beer uh <laughs> Bush ice is like so malt liquor like to me. For the 5.9% ice beers, Bush ice, Natty ice, Keystone ice, this one to me tastes the most like a malt liquor, which is surprising to me, or it was at least when I first yeah. tried it, because Bush is the complete opposite of this. So it's very, it's a very bold ice beer in the best possible way. Uh, it is very sweet. Uh, you're getting the grain presence. It, it's um, It's got a nice carbonation to it. Like you said, it does finish dry and uh, refreshing, crisp, um, and I really enjoy it. Um, I haven't had one in a while, so I'm glad that we're doing this because I picked up, uh, we had the two for three deal here as well, the two 25 ounce big one cans for three bucks. So, uh, so yeah, I'm enjoying it, and uh, there you go. Yeah, they're actually using the water, corn, barley malt, rice, and corn syrup. Hop swap extract and malt extract. So you're getting the best, I guess, of both worlds with the rice and the corn. So that is very interesting to hear from tapintoyourbeer.com. Before we get to Jay, 
I do want to go back to our uh, correspondent in Virginia, John Walker, and see what he's brought for this examination. I didn't pick up something. I, when you messaged me, I was like, oh, my God, that's right. I know. Shame on me. You have any you enjoying? But I, I do have a Budweiser. I did oh, find this in my fridge. Yeah, buddy. So I feel like I, I do get some points, but my out of the the three Bush Ice, Natty Ice, and Bud Ice. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I I hadn't had Bush Ice until a few years ago when it hit the market here. I really liked it. It's like what he said. What is his What's his John. name? Uh, John. It's uh, it's very pleasant to drink. But it does sneak up on you. And uh, I just remember it being enjoyable. I really liked that one the most out of the three of them. Excellent. Oh, good stuff. And it's a heck of a steal. The 12 packs were like, what, eight bucks? Holy crap. There you go, wow. John. Cool. So we'll get back to your thoughts on Budweiser today, uh, January 25th, in a little while. I do want to go to Jay and hear about the Bud Ice as he reviews it today. Well, Bud Ice, I started drinking in 1996. It, it is better to me because it's a draft beer, meaning that it's cold filtered, it's not pasteurized. Most of your macro beers are pasteurized. So uh, even Budweiser. So it has a little distinct thing. It's very popular in Louisiana. It rivals Budweiser here. It's huge around here. And uh, we get, like I said, we get these 18 ounce brown bottles, which apparently a lot of people do not get. I'm the price, yeah, the price has gone up a lot. Um, this was, the price was $1.25 if you bought two bottles. It used to be a dollar nine, but um, it got so popular that uh, they just kept raising the price. and. Prices have gone up anyway around the country. Um, <clears throat> it's only 121 calories per 12 ounces, so it's very light in in uh, compared to other beers of high alcohol. It's 5.5% it's alcohol, but it only has 121 calories. My friend David, you might see him in my video sometimes with the beard. He likes to drink. He doesn't like Budweiser, but he likes to drink Bud Ice a lot. He usually gets the clear 40-ounce bottles. Another thing about it, I can get six packs of pint cans here, six pack of pint cans for $4.38. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a true story. Um, this one has a little metallic taste, but I'm going to give you the ingredients real fast, and then I'll... Then the um, freshness on it. Uh, okay. this, I had to write Anheuser Busch years ago and tell them that their their website was wrong, and they said, "How can you prove that?" And then I proved it to them, and they fixed it. <laughs> but anyway, about butt ice, it was about butt ice. They use water, corn, actual corn, corn syrup, barley malt, then rice, then hops then hop extract, and then malt extract. And when I went to their, their brewery going on four years ago, they were bottling thousands of bottles of Bud Ice, 40 ounce bottles, and it was amazing just to see these thousands of Bud Ice 40s going down the line, being in just filled with Bud, Bud Ice. Um, so the date on mine is 18347. So it's the 347th day of 2018, meaning what? It's from December. Yeah. So it's fresh now. 18 and then it gives a, a code like WH. I don't know where was it made at the White House. Um Williamsburg, Virginia. WH is Williamsburg. No, it's just W. That's Williamsburg. This okay. one says W H. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Williamsburg. Yeah, because I know H is Houston. 
And then it's 1858. So the 18th hour of the day, 58th minute, I guess. Oh, you got that, John? That makes sense. 58, 58 minute. Eight, uh, so that would have been uh, 6 p.m., 6.58 p.m., I suppose. I think those plants are on 24 hour, don't they? Probably so. Now, some breweries, their plants only run five days a week because they don't have enough business. <laughs> um, when I went to Shiner, they told us that they don't run. They're not running all the time it's probably expensive to shut the the assembly line down i guess but it's probably but you can't they, they said that they're not going to make beer they can't sell you know what i mean yeah they, absolutely they, uh, and that's why some companies not anheuser Bush, but some companies on their off days they'll contract brew for other people okay real fast <laughs> all right Story me, of the day. Okay. yeah real fast i'll yeah. give it's got nice lacing it's golden. Uh, the aroma is a uh, sweet grain. You know, it's got corn, corn syrup, rice, barley malt, malt extract. All right, the taste. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Um, yeah, it's all those grain elements. The stereotypical what we would, what most Americans would say it has a strong beer flavor. Um, there's no real bitterness standing out. It's round. The the body's medium and the finish is crisp, clean, and refreshing. It, this will be my only beer today. The only beer I'm drinking is this 18 ounce bottle. And um and the only thing else I had to drink today was a little bit of the uh Krabari Marsala. Ooh. And a little bit of the Bacardi, the Bacardi Black. <laughs> but uh that's it. <laughs> Mm. And I love that Bacardi Black. I love you, Bacardi Black. <laughs> All right, anyway. Do you do you what? enjoy the uh, whiskey, American whiskey? Well, I do lots of taste challenges incessantly with it. Yeah, I enjoy it. I don't particularly like have a huge favoritism toward it, but. I recently tried tin cup whiskey. I never and, heard of that. Uh, <clears throat> it's made in Colorado. I really enjoyed it. It's not a very aggressive tasting uh, whiskey. Um, if you ever get a chance to try it, I really highly recommend it. Okay. Yeah, we we're always trying some new bourbon, something like that. You know, like uh, I just went and bought a, a few the other this past couple of weeks. Cause I got such a great deal on them. <laughs> no. All right. So I, I like this spot ice, but then I, that's nothing new. People know that already. <laughs> Sweet. I think, uh, John Walker wanted to talk a little bit today about his thoughts as he's drinking on some good old Budweiser. Oh yeah. Budweiser. Uh, can't go wrong with this. It's <laughs> ice beer right there. Yeah. I, I would have grabbed one. I'm so sorry. Uh, well, make it, go make it ice beer. Go put it in the freezer. And when it starts getting ice crystals, pull the ice crystals out, and then you'll have fun. <laughs> make your own ice beer. Yeah. yeah, just get the uh, the strainer out. Invite, yeah, yeah invite homemade ice beer. Um, Budweiser, you can't go wrong with it. It's a uh, real light body. Oh. Yes. Uh. Um, 145 calories. 145 calories. Was it 11 carbs? 10 carbs. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, 10.6 grams per carb or of carbs. 5% alcohol. It's almost the ABV of an uh, ice beer. Most of the ice beers are what, five and a half? Five and a half to 5.9. Yeah, Budweiser is that one beer that. It, it will sneak up on you when you have three compared to, you know, a Miller Lite. It, to me, it's closer to an ice beer. Um, well, it's a full, it's a full alcohol beer now. Yeah, yeah. Um, compared to most, like uh, I've got Founder Solid Golden here, and they label it as a regular beer, but it's only four point four percent alcohol. Um, so yeah, most of these uh, regular beers pale in comparison to Budweiser's five percent. Um, uh, Coors Banquet is five percent. Yeah, that's that's about the only other one that I could think of, other than the the European lagers. 
But uh, uh, I don't know. A- a- Amberbach, Michelob Amberbach is what, 5.1? But yeah, that's, that's it's been a while beer. since I've had that. I think he's talking about just your standard. Like, yeah, yellow fizzy beer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yellow, fizzy fizzy beer. Beer. Yeah. yeah, yellow fizzy beer. Uh, um, Land shark might be five. That's not too, that's pretty common around here. Um, This was made on, or no, pulled by February 23rd, 2019. Oh, you got the yeah, you got the Best Buy date. They they've mm-hmm. been already they've been converting over to Best Buy dates. Yeah, they they've now converted all of over. I think. Uh, I'm well, pretty not, sure, except on the craft line. Well, and, my, excuse me. My Bud Ice is still doing the no uh, no, unless it's Julian codes, they're not yeah. changing. Yeah, mine's Julian code. Yeah. Um, how you're better at describing things. You know that signature Budweiser hot flavor, I guess you could call it, or that the signature Budweiser taste. How would you describe it? Oh uh, well, uh, Budweiser is kind of a strange beer to me because it has an unusual yeast flavor. And sometimes I say it tastes like, um, even looks weird. Like, and I do like it, you know, I like it, so I'm not ripping on it. But like, if you hold Budweiser up to the light in a clear light, sometimes it'll look greenish, like a green hue to it. Huh. Yeah. Which is strange. Yeah. And they use, uh, they use green rice in it. They call it verdant rice, which means the rice is still alive. Like it's not dried up. It's Have you? Did you uh, when you toured the the breweries? Did you actually see the rice? Yeah, they were cooking it in a room. And it smelled like a big old room full of rice cooking. Because in Louisiana, people eat a lot of rice, and you always smell yeah. it. And, you know, and uh, it has a distinct fl- uh, aroma when it's cooking. And uh, I said, "Oh, y'all don't just boil the rice and the barley together." And she said, she looked at me like I was crazy, and she said, "What?" No, <laughs> she said they're boiled separately. No, okay. and I said, "Oh, okay." And then she said, "Then they blend them together." But um, Budweiser, I know people will tell me they love it, but it gives them a nasty headache. Some people are just yeah. mm-hmm. some people can't tolerate their yeast strain. It gives them a terrible headache. It doesn't bother me at all. I can drink Budweiser, and it's like I'm feeling fine. But it does give you a funny feeling like when you're sipping it down, it's like somebody stuck an ice pick in your temple, which may not feel so <laughs> funny <laughs> feeling, Jay. Whoa. Yeah, it's no other beer, yeah, no other beer makes me feel like somebody's sticking an ice pick in my temple. But I mean, it's kind what of a happens thing. when you drink in ice. But ice did that to me once. Yeah, the ice beers don't make me feel it. And I and John Walker's price, Jonathan Walker's price saying. I don't know what he's trying to say. He knows I work for these people. He's just trying to start trouble. I'm not trying to start trouble. No, 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 no. What I'm thinking is you just haven't had enough. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute. You know how much Budweiser I've drank in my life? No, oh, at, at one time. Oh, man. I had. Oh, no. No to, way. Uh, no way. I haven't had enough. At one I probably time. had close to nine of them in two hours. But I. And. Yeah, no, thanks. I, I was hurting. Thank was you hurting. for the offer. But I. Thank you for the offer, but I'll decline. Um, yeah, I, I think that's where the ice pick comes from. Yeah. People, because they're so light, you could slam them so easily that you know you become so dehydrated so quickly because you're processing all the beer, and that will uh, definitely give you a headache. I I, I got to pose that question out. You kind of said that they're so light, and you can just kind of pound them. Between oh, yeah. Jay drinking the butt ice and John and I drinking the bush ice, I, I'm curious between Jay and John here, starting with Jay. Do you feel the same way about how John Walker just described the drinkability of Budweiser as you do about the drinkability of Bud Ice right now? Yeah, and I think I think that the Bud Ice is even more drinkable, which makes it even more dangerous, which makes it it's lower calorie, 121 yeah. calories, 100, 121 calories, which makes it dangerous because you'd just be drinking it like, oh, yippee yay, yippee ki yay. Uh, and mother, brother, and uh, other brother, 
I What's the carb father. count? I said mother, father. I have a mother and I have a father. Um, I will find that out. And uh, although my mother did die at at age thirty six, but um, wow. But, yeah, that's a true story. But no, but rice has four carbs for twelve ounces. Dang, that's that's nothing. Yeah, that's well, less than a Coors Light. You could drink Bud Bud Ice like, yay! Look at me, I'm drinking Bud Ice, and then you'd be staggered. You have to watch it; it's very dangerous. Um, what's your thought? Quickly, quickly, uh, back to John and Nilly. What is your thought on our bu our Bush Ice and its drinkability? Um, Bush Ice has pretty high drinkability, although I think Natty Ice and Keystone Ice, those are both 5.9%. I think they're a little bit more drinkable. Like I said, Bush Ice to me is almost, it's very reminiscent of a malt liquor. It has mm -hmm. a more malt forward presentation and it's not cooling, but it's definitely getting there. Whereas the Natty Ice and, uh, and Bud Ice, well, Bud Ice is 5.5. .5. I'm talking five of, of the 5.9% ice beers. Right. This one is is more bold and, and more malt forward and like i said more like a malt liquor but it, it is drinkable to an extent but it's not as sessionable in my opinion as the other ice beers out there i'm finding that it is um pretty dry for what it is but i mean maybe maybe initially it kind of has the bold sort of the sweetness that that, that <clears throat> reminds me of a malt liquor but then i think it kind of has a nice dryness that keeps it fresh and clean and keeps it sort of sort of an, in in my eyes a little bit sessionable however i did kind of notice the first time that i had the can first can that i had that this is a product that creeps the hell up on you whether you realize it or not 20 minutes later holy crap so yeah drink a 40 and you'll find out i can only know of the i only know of these 25 ounce big ones for a dollar 50 i think that's quite a steal but if you had to give this one here john today as a rating i know you did it on your channel but what are you thinking for a rating right now drinking that bush ice um well when i did the review it's been a while i need to do a revisit because the like i said the can i had was expired i gave it a b but it's higher than that it's it's in the a range for ice beers um and to compare it to like i said to compare it to the other 5.9 percent ice beers I do prefer natural ice, and I really, I think Keystone Ice may be my favorite because it's got that unique, almost banana fruity note to it, which I really enjoy. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I, I still think this is an excellent ice beer, um, but it's on the lower end of excellent for me. I'm going to go 92 out of 100 I for this time. Um, but it's still an excellent beer. Yeah, it's great. Since I'm drinking the same beer, why the hell not give a rating? Um, why the hell not? To say that I'm impressed with the beer is kind of not true. However, impressed is not maybe the word that I would use for this beer. This is the big one. I got to pour some more. Um, but I'm really happy with this for $1.50. I mean, a, like I was saying there when John was, or, or as I was comparing notes with John there, it does sort of start up front pretty sweet, but I like how it's nice and dry. And for me, it does have a really great um, drinkability to it. Now, my favorite has always been for Anheuser Busch. Um, it had always been the Bud Ice. Uh, I'd have to do a side by side right now. I'm kind of liking this thing pretty good. The only problem, which yeah, it's 5.9. You might not think in craft if you're a craft beer fan, like a lot of us still are. That 5.9 is anything, but you get 25 ounce cans and you start drinking that many oh, ounces. Oh, baby. Yeah, exactly. That's going to creep up on you. So, I mean, if I gave this an 88 out of 100, that's a crazy rating, but I'm going to give it an 80 out of 100. Usually my nice. ratings for these kind of beers are almost standard at 75, but I'm giving it that much higher of a rating for its price. It's great value, easy drinkability. Generally, it's inoffensive. And like John said, for the style, this is a pretty great little old beer so 88 out of 100 it's a high b plus in my book cheers everybody nice. it's interesting that it has the the corn the rice 
the corn syrup, the hot, it's pretty complex in its macro makeup. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Um, that's true. Really yeah. Good crispness to it because of that. Can I can I give you mine? Please do. Bush ice, everybody. J T. Or Ronald the riot. Bud wrong. Bud ice. Wrong Bud ice. What did I say? Bush ice. Whoops. <laughs> Bush ice. There goes the big one. Alcohol is talking. All right. Now, um, <clears throat> of the three, and as a Bush ice beers. The Bud Ice, which we can get in incredible volume. The uh, Natural Ice, which we get in a declining volume. <laughs> Going the way of dinosaur around here. Wow, that's everywhere in the country. Natural Ice is on the down slope, but that's not my problem. Um, <laughs> no. Then Bush Ice, which has never been sold around here. In the history of Louisiana, but I can get it in Texas. You know, if I'm in there, if I'm in Texas, I'll buy it. But I would, I would rate it Bush. I would say that Bud Ice is the best of the three, due to its draft beer person, this draft beer uh, existence. Um, I would score it. Oh. About ninety-three. Yeah. The natural ice, I would score about ninety-two. Ooh. And the bush ice, I would score about the lowest. Ninety. All right. So they're all really got stiff competition in J Terrio and J. Cherry Oats, uh, wheelhouse. And beer. of the Anheuser Busch oh, ice oh, beer, cherry oh, like cherry oh. Uh, of of the Anheuser Busch ice beers, Natty yeah. Bush and Bud Ice, I'm kind of, I think I'm the same. Uh, I think you just said, okay, well, Bud Ice will be my favorite, which I think you said Bud Ice was yours. Then yeah. Natural Ice, yes. and then Bush Ice for me is is a close third, but it's my least favorite of the. Anheuser Busch ice beers, uh, because it's so close to a malt liquor that I'd rather just drink a King Cobra if I'm going to go this way. Danger about it, yeah. My and God. King Cobra now, King Cobra is less dangerous though because it has a lot more body and more calories. So the whole time you're drinking, it's sending out little warning signs like, "Watch it, brother." I'm a well, you got to be careful because the smooth taste can fool you. Don't let the taste fool you, King Cobra. I mean, that is your uh, that is your very famous uh, icon on on uh, right the classic the classic label design, which I actually have that that's an actual picture I took of a King Cobra bar sign that I have in my living room. Sweet. Yeah. So, uh, another thing about King Cobra when it first came out on to the market in 1984, it was sold in a foil topped. A foil top bottle like Michelob. It was a fancy Michelob style bottle with a foil top, and I would love to have it, and I don't, so I feel played. John, and Jay, you had a John Walker. What are your thoughts thoughts on all of these ice beers? And in your recollection, drinking some of these throughout his throughout. Yeah, his time. I've had all of them. I've had plenty of them. My ex girlfriend's father used to drink a forty of Natty Ice every day, and sometimes he would bring every one to day. me. Wow. Yeah. Right. So I have plenty of memories of Natty Ice. It was always my least favorite. Oh, that's of, wrong. Of the AB Ice Beers. I enjoyed Bud Ice. It was just the drinkability is why I liked it. It was just smooth. You, could, you couldn't get any smoother for an ice beer. And I, I thought Bush just had a, you know, it was a complex yet pleasant flavor. It um, didn't turn me off. But uh, yeah, the Natty Ice, I just for some odd reason, it's just it it just wasn't pleasant to me. Uh, I think it was a it was a real bready beer. Uh, I think that's what was a turnoff point for me. But Bud Ice, I would you know give it like a ninety two. Uh, Bush, but a ninety. But Natty Ice, I give it something to around seventy eight. Wow. I just really do not like that beer, but that's just my own personal opinion. And that's probably swayed by the obvious. Okay. 
just be uh, remember I told you, you you could come to New Orleans and we'd hang out. I want to I want to retract that offer. Yeah, <laughs> is trying to join yes, so yes, here he right now. And by the way, before I say hello, which we'll just say it now. Hello, Gabriel. We also have longtime viewer of all of our YouTube channels, Stuart Fitzsimmons watching live. Hello, Mr. Stuart. And hello to Gabriel Salaya. He's got not an Anheuser Bush, but he has an ice beer. He's got ice. That's uh, a really good ice beer. We'll allow it, Gabriel. You're fitting in with the theme at least. Good. Give us a little rundown of your beer or or are you going to put it into a nice fancy glass? All right, Gabe, what are you drinking tonight, Gabe? Keystone. Keystone Ice. Oh, an, a Molson Coors product. Okay. We'll allow it today. He's Gabriel. He's here. He's, he's having a good Friday. And give us a look of the beer and some tasting notes of Gabriel. If he can find his beer. And that beer is sold as an ale, not a lager. And it's a function. What's going on with the beer, Gabriel? How is it tasting? Gabriel, hello. Hola. Como estas Estados Unidos? All right, well, he's currently looking for beer itself. Um, okay. Gabe, hey, Gabe. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, what do you think about the beer? Oh, he muted himself. All right, so we'll uh, maybe we'll go off air, and Gabriel will tell us all about his awesome beer off air, unless he really wants to try to. Not me, because I'll be laying in bed watching the Pelicans get beat. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm gonna. I gotta hop off of here. So it was nice talking to you guys. Hi, right, Jonathan. All right, y'all have a wonderful night. And sorry, I didn't have an ice beer. I, for, I totally forgot. I'm sorry, but that's all right. We're we're glad you joined us. Yeah, I had a, a bud product. Well, at least I have an ice beer. Oh wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. <laughs> I want to do a little tap take. I want to do a little tap takeover. Um, Monday night. Monday night is seven o'clock Eastern time. We're doing Paul Masson. Marsala, if y'all want to review, and y'all thought I don't know that person. Wait, y'all thought five point nine percent was high alcohol. Well, let me tell you right now, we're gonna do a wine that is eighteen percent alcohol. How you feel? Mm. Wow, there you go. What you know about that, people? What you know about that eighteen percent alcohol? So everybody join. Come on, all. Or tequila, forty percent. Yeah, but we're not going that far. I have to yeah. see in there. Yeah, we're we're waiting. I've never tried tequila in my entire life, and I'm fifty. So, G Gabriel, give us your uh, review of Keystone Ice real quick before we go off air. Boom. I thought you I thought you guys just joined on there. No, 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 no. We're, Ooh, we're, we're back here. You're at the very tail end of the show. The credits are already rolling. <laughs> quick, review your beer. He's gonna open it and he's gonna put it in the glass. Okay, this smells like grainy. Cheap greens. Yeah. I like a. That's a more more of a green smell than natural ice. Oh, okay. Whoa, Jay goes what? I don't know. That's probably I right. Think, uh, I think natural. Well, you like natural? Oh no, you don't like that one, huh? You it's like all right. Bud ice. All right. Your favorite was Bud Ice, huh? Um, probably, but I'm liking this bush ice right now pretty good. I don't have bush ice, so can't get it. But we do need you to take a sip of that beer and tell us what you. But ice not sold here. What what you what you getting out of Keith? I mean, ice? I mean, bush ice not sold Let's here. Let's go. Cheers, Gabriel. Let's drink a beer together. J oh, oh, nice frosty mug. There we go. That's what I like to see. Down the yeah, head. I, I, that, is, that is pretty nice looking. Look like you're drinking a fine wine. My or mom, maybe a cider. Hey, you know, so, all kidding aside, all kidding aside, I did drink some fine wine this afternoon because I really did yeah. love that Krabari Marsala. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to keep trumpeting. I'm going to keep. How's that, how's I don't the, know that person, so. How's that Keystone Ice taste? I'm going to keep asking you that. Tastes good. Cheap taste. 
everything. A, a, a B, a C. Cheap a... taste, cheap price, cheap everything. Like How's it? Like, like Taco Bell. Cheap Taco Bell. Like Taco beer Bell. for cheap people. Like me. <laughs> yeah. <For cheap. laughs> well, I guess I guess we're all cheap. Like the Taco Bell dollar menu, the uh, grande burritos for one dollar, by the way. Hey, nacho yeah. fries are back, people. I got some nacho fries for dinner. Amazing. Nice. I and church's say, chicken. I gotta say, it's while we while we end this and go off. Rama will say church's chicken. That's oh, 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 wait a minute. Well, let me say this, Gabe. I have not eaten church's chicken. Sir. Yeah, but you said that remark. I know, but I haven't. I haven't even. I haven't. Yeah. I have not even eaten church uh, chicken since uh, Wednesday. <laughs> oh damn. But Gabriel said it best. <laughs> it's been two whole days. People, and I guess we're just two people half the time. Oh. So we like uh, Bush and uh, Bush Ice. Whoa. We like, I don't know. I can't get it. We like the Bush line of beers. We like the Budweiser line of beers. Natural line of beers are I like Budweiser Ice. Easier to most of us, but we still like them. You Budweiser like, Ice. You like cheese yeah, ice. ice, or is that still just a cheap product? Yeah, know? that's what it is. All right, so that's what it is. So we're gonna get the same. You, really, Eric, Eric, Whoa, back, yes, sir. Back up. Eric, stop the train. Uh, Gabe, what do you score the uh, Keystone Ice just for? This is not an official score because this is an Anheuser Busch. Okay, five. Out of 10? Out of 10? Wait. Give oh, it yeah. a, a, B, C, D, or F. Uh, a C, C plus, 75. <gasps> I don't know. Can it be higher? I don't know. It can be, it can it can be, be whatever you want to be. <laughs> and it be higher, maybe. Okay, okay, I'll I'll, I'll make it be 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 minus eighty. Okay, Boom. I like be fair. That. All right, I gave it some real good thought. Thank you, Jay, for getting Gabe to rate that beer. Nice. So, what is Bud Ice like, Budweiser? Well, it's just called Bud Ice. It's never. It was never called Budweiser Ice. It was just Bud Ice. So you don't. So you don't think that they use the Budweiser and then they ice brew the Budweiser? No. I think so. No, 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 no. Because Budweiser does not have corn in it. This is an. Oh. Entire, this oh. is an entirely. It's an entirely different recipe, and um. There's so Bud in the name. Natural beer or a Bush beer, right? That's right. It's a different. It's a. It's an entirely different product. So what would happen if they didn't ice brew that? They could have a new beer on the market. Like, but like, they, they could literally. They could literally make a Budweiser ice. They could take regular Budweiser, drop it down to freezing temperatures, filter out the ice crystals, and there you go, Budweiser mm -hmm. ice. And people, you can try this at home. This is something you can try at home. You can take Budweiser. If you're dumb enough to do this, <laughs> okay, because you have to be dumb to do this. You can All take right, the I'll do it. freeze it, take the ice out, and drink it, and say you made Budweiser ice. Yeah. Now, yeah. there are fools around the world that will do this, but I'm not one of okay. them. Okay, I'll do it later. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 about Bud Light Platinum? Mm. Kind of. Oh, right? but, but, <laughs> Like what? Yeah, Gabe, Gabe, why are we not doing a Bud Light Platinum video at some point in 2019? That's a great question because it has be a where's that difference from Bud Light? Yeah. Oh, that's a big difference. Oh, that's like the difference between Grand Central Station. Is Bud Light with more alcohol? It's like 1.8 percent more alcohol per, you know, by volume. Per volume, yeah. Right. That's like. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. We, it's a malt liquor. It's a it's, it's a malt liquor is what it is. Right. I'll do that. I tried it one. I tried Wednesday or a Tuesday or one of these Friday things or whatever. I'm down. It's like Grand Central Station in a pet grooming shop. But now I think it's a perfect time that we can say Stone Ice. Say Keystone Ice is not Stone Ice stone beer. Yeah, exactly. I think we're right. gonna take this off air. Oh, so nice. We can <laughs> chat some more <laughs> discussion off air. But I thank Gabriel for chatting and then joining, and I thank our, our, our good old buddy, a Stuart Fitzsimmons, for joining us. 
I know he used yeah, to comment on my, he used to. He comments on all of our videos and he's a really awesome all right. uh, supporter of uh, right. what we all do on YouTube. So thank you, sir. And hopefully, yes, I cannot guarantee any of this. But hopefully we're going to be back on a Wednesday schedule. Where did my camera go? I have no clue. But hopefully we're going to be back on a Wednesday schedule and be doing this right. So until next time, on behalf of Gabriel and John in L.A. and Ronald Terrio and Thomas Metal 75, I, I, I raise a glass if you can see it. And I say until next time, keep tasting those great beers. Cheers. And we'll see you all soon. Cheers.